What's up, Pokemon? I'm Pit Bear, John Origins here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a UU match using the Pokemon Showdown against Wax Wing. Uh, Showdown is a great little piece of software for people that can't really record DS battles, so uh, it's really helpful and it really, really, really saves me some time. And it's really quick and simple, and everyone can play it. It's really, really, really good. So, anyway, before we do anything, let's get into my team, because my team is quite a nice team. It's worked out really well for me as late, and I haven't really lost many battles with it. Just a couple here and there. So, let's start with my big ass Swamp out there. Choice Banded, Staff Rocks. Waterfall, Ice Punch, and Earthquake. Staff Rocks on there just to make them think that I'm a defensive set, but in the long run, I'm not. I've got a specially defensive Shaman with Substitute, Leech Seed, Air Sash, and C Flare. It's really good. It's one of those standard sets that just works really well in most situations. I can really, really poke a hole in the team if they're not ready for it. I've got a very good Mew that works very well with my Kingdra because my Mew has Rain Dance, it has Nasty Plot, Thunder Wave, and Baton Pass. I get up the Rain, I to set up a Nasty Plot, then switch into my Expert Bout at Kingdra with a Surf, Ice Beam, Hinder Power, Grass, and Dragon Pulse just to poke some massive holes through team early game or late game, depending on when I can set up. And I've got my little Bishop there, the Sucker Punch, Iron Head, Sword Stance, and Substitute. Very, very good set. So effective. Bishop is an amazing Pokemon. If you haven't used it already, you have to give it a go. And I've got a standard Choice Vex Raikou with uh, Volt Switch, Extra Sensory, Weather Ball because I've got Rain Dance on my Mew, and then Hidden Power Ice. It is a very good team. Uh, so let's get into this battle as soon as we can. So I'm going to hit a play right about now, and we can play. We can, I start with my Mew, and he starts with you. See, I've I figured it's a perfect time for me to set up a rain dance, set up a nice part, get going and sweep the, sweep the Kingdra, get a very quick game off the bat. But he just sets up with Staff Rock, so I'm feeling good about myself, um, but I do make a couple of bad plays early on, which could have affected me later on if I didn't play safe and didn't play properly. So I can set up it to plus two, uh, four now, I think. So uh, I've got two nasty plots up, I've got my rain up, and it's looking great. Unfortunately, I go for a Thunder Wave instead of a Baton Pass, which really cost me because now if I bat and pass out, which I do, I go into my Kindred, I take some Star Fox damage, very much unneeded Star Fox damage, and then he could roll me out and get rid of all my boosts. And it's just really unfortunate because I work so hard to get that. But I uh, do get switched out into my Bishop, which is never a bad thing as he switches out, not wanting to take an Iron Head or a Sucker Punch if, I, if he wants to go for an attack move. I can set up a substitute here, and then I can go for a Sword Stance on the following turn, knowing that he, he has to break my sub. Um, go to close combat, and I'm thinking, I'm plus two, and he's got a defense drop. A Sucker Punch will do a very, very good chunk of damage. Unfortunately, he has got a Reflect Up, and so it doesn't do as much as I would like. So uh, he's able to take me out with the close combat. I'm thinking he's a, a choice Pokemon of some sort, probably choice Scarfs. But I'm not able to do anything with my Bishop this game, even though it does work so effectively in most other games. But I, now I can bring in my King just safely, go for the Surf, turn him, take him out. But he does actually switch out into his winning. What? Not wanting to uh, die as of yet. Uh, with the rain gone now, because there's only one turn left, I am uh, unable to get my swim swim, which doesn't really matter against this Blastoise. I can just go for some Hidden Power Grass and get some really good damage on it. I do get some really good luck at this point in time as he misses the Toxic, which I'm like, yes, come on, keep going. I go for another Hidden Power Grass and he gets paralyzed, uh, which is great. So I'm able to take out his Blastoise now. He might have gone for the Raw, he might have gone for the Scald or the Toxic. Either way, then they won't be crucial to the battle because. Either way, his Blastoise would have been crippled terribly because he does indeed switch out and try and get some uh, use of it. Like, it might have rest or something. Uh, he goes into his right code to take the, the Hidden Power Grasp, but I do go for the Dragon Pulse, trying to switch up moves and make sure I can catch him on the switch if someone does switch out. Now, predicting the Thunderbolt because he wants to go on a Kindra, I'm going to switch into my Swamp and take it well. Turns out he's a Life Orb set, which is strange. I haven't seen them. I see Subcar Mind, I see Choice Scarfs, Choice Specs like mine, but. Um, Never seen Life Orb, it's interesting, it could work out in situations, but I tend to run a Choice Scarf or a Choice Specs on it, so I can get the power on the speed that it really needs. Now I'll go for the Earthquake, put it in the sub, because earlier on in the day I saw a sub Chandler, which I did not want to fight, because they are tough when it comes down to it, so I just need to sack my Swampert in order to uh, make sure that Chandler cannot set up anything and do anything that I don't want it to do. Go into my Ryoko, now the MVP of this match is going to be, and I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch, now I can do a massive chunk to the Chandler if it has to lie. It'll probably kill it, and then uh, I do a good chunk to anything that comes in because it hasn't got any ground type Pokemon, so that's unfortunate. Especially with Raikou being such a big threat, I'd think of ground type would be pretty necessary in a UU team. So I can just go for the, UU, uh, the Leech Seed now, so I bring in my Shaman after Volt Switch. I do a very sizable chunk to his uh, Yuxi, and I'm able to get up the Leech Seed very effectively. 
but he can go for light screens for effects. He can still up all down me because I ain't got no super effective moves. I got nothing that can hit him hard. I have barely any special attack investment in the shaman. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to stall it and try and hope, hopefully win the battle. Because I don't think he can do much to me either. I think he has U-turn, that's about it. I'm going for the sleeve fair, sleeve, sleeve fair now and get a really good chunk on it, but not as important. I got the special defense, but it would be great. So now, after taking the Mega Horn because of the sub, which is great, I'm going for the Air Slash and safe to take him out. I run Air Slash over Earth Power because Shaman. I don't want to fight another Shaman with my Shaman because I lose automatically. So Air Slash is a very good move to have. I could have gone for the HP Fire or the HP Ice just to get some more coverage, but I like Air Slash because it's got that flinching chance. Uh, I had to do a straight switch into my Kindred. Uh, now, I'm expecting the Fire type move, not the sub, but I can't do anything to Kindred. Uh, Chandler anyway my shaman so I really had to switch out into something. I have to pretty much sack my kindred now just to break its sub because you know Chandler big threat behind a sub like I said. I don't want to fight it behind a sub with the Pokemon I've left so um, gotta break it, gotta sack my kindred which is really unfortunate but looking at his team I don't particularly need it. All I need is Raikou and I have to play around Raikou really carefully. I don't want it to faint and I need it to destroy his Blastoise which is very low HP so I don't know and his Juxi. Uh, his Togekiss could be handled and his token definitely is focuses because I cannot handle that with my Mew. It's got no attacking moves. It's a useless Pokemon at this point, but I've still got it. It's relatively good HP. I really did not want to be in this situation where my Mew is out here with no attacking moves and allowing his token to set up. I want to go for the the nasty parts and then a uh, baton pass to get in my uh, Raikou, but I can't do that because I got paralyzed. And then I get paralyzed again. Where's his hacks? He didn't even do anything. And I just get paralyzed. I can't baton pass out of there to conserve my Mew for death out of later if I need it. So now, but because it dies, it gives me a nice opportunity to switch into my Raikou and gauge how much of Volts, which will do. It does about 64% and a solid two hit kill, which is looking great. But uh, now I can swap back into my Shaman, not taking any damage at all. And yes, I'm looking. I'm looking all right. I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, yes, I can do this as long as, uh, long as he still stays the two hit KO. I'll be pretty much sad. Just go for the leech seed after I miss the seed flare, uh, but I miss it. And of course, he's able to roost up. Uh, it's not looking like I can do it okay now. I cannot do it. Um, uh, he's at eighty-six percent health. Last time my Volt Switch only did like sixty-four percent. It's not enough to take it out, and I'm looking in a very dire situation right now. It comes down to if I get a crit or I survive the hit, and which I really don't want to take that risk, but I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch now, and let's see what happens. Um, yeah, I'll go for the Volt Switch. It doesn't kill. It does seventy-four percent, which is ten percent more max damage. Air slash. Oh my God! I live with twelve percent. The not very effectiveness of this made me survive and take him out with another Volt Switch. I can outspeed his Yuxi and his Blastoise who are both at very low HP and win the game. So that was a very, very good battle. I had to pull it back after a few misplays earlier on in the match, but I'm able to pull it back and win the game. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video. Subscribe to Pokemon Street Better if you haven't already. And go ahead and subscribe to me because I probably know you have. So uh, if you enjoyed it, remember, leave a like and subscribe to everything I just told you to. And goodbye.